whatever. It's live from last week, episode 36. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow jaywalkers, to another episode of Live Home Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we continue. Just want you to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, we're just chilling at the condo and we have realized that our outdoor pool is now open. So I'm going to take advantage of it, make use of the maintenance fees that I'm paying here, and we're going to take a dip in the pool. Let's go! Man, this is amazing. They actually fixed the temperature regulator in the pool. So now it's actually warm when we go swimming. So yeah, this is a message to one of our neighbors. Kay, you should come out and check out the pool, yo. You're missing out on how warm the water is. So I better see you out here next time that we go swimming. So after a day of just editing video, doing household chores like vacuuming, and restarting the habit of doing 100 push-ups every single day, I was just so happy and glad to be back swimming in the pool again. Especially because that outdoor pool was closed for at least two years. From 2019 to 2020 because of water heating issues. And of course from 2020 to 2021 because of the pandemic. But yeah, hopefully now that it's open, I can try to go every single day. So let's see if I can go again tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think I'll be swimming today. Mainly because earlier, I went on the stationary bike for an hour session while working on my left hand punching skills. And with that boxing headband, I'm noticing that I'm getting better with my left hand jab. Plus, I want to reserve some energy because I'm going in for my first of my three night shifts tonight. But before I go into work, I have a couple greetings for you guys. With my first birthday greeting, going to my Manang Reggie. Happy birthday Manang Reggie! I'm remembering the times when we were in Jamaica for Faye and Justin's wedding where I would challenge you to play table tennis with me. And you'd actually impress me with your table tennis game. Anyways, Manangarji, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. And my next birthday greeting goes out to my Tita Floor. Happy birthday, Mommy Po. I really appreciate you and the comments that you leave for me in encouraging me to do the best in my life goals, as well as you cheering on me from afar when I do my races and the numerous gatherings that you would host for me and the family at 52. Anyways, Mommy Paul, hope you're doing well, keeping healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So, just in between night shifts, I wanted to come by the cemetery and just say hi to my Lola. Hey Lola, hope you're doing well out there. Just visiting you on my monthly visit to you. And just wanted to say, we're still thinking of you. Keep praying for us and keep guiding us in our everyday lives, Lola. We miss you. So after coming off my night shift and going to see my Lola this morning, I came home and went straight on my exercise bike post night shift. And since I didn't have a lot of time and had to make sure I had some sleep after my work, I decided to do my workout and multitask at the same time by eating my breakfast while I was on my bike. And after getting a good sleep in the late morning after my workout, I looked in the fridge and saw that the fiance cooked some meals yesterday and meal planned for us for the next couple of days. So I'm so excited to taste these delicious meals that she has prepared for us in a little bit. And I decided to thank her by making some fruit smoothies that she could find in the fridge when she comes home from work. But anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I kind of made a spontaneous buy last night while online shopping on this new website that I haven't heard before. So basically I broke and I did kind of buy some dumbbells, which I'm hoping will come in the next couple of days so we can add a little weight resistance to my workouts. But yeah, before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, I just have a little birthday greeting for Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. I'm remembering years ago going camping with V, you, and that Filipino group, as well as randomly running into you and Melrose at that one Blue Jays game that one year. Anyways, Ashley, hope you're doing well and staying healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So post night shift, what do you know? I got this notification in my email. Meaning that when I wake up from my post night shift nap, I'll have something at my door. From the website that I ordered my weights from. And if you didn't know, it is awesome. So let's take my post night shift nap and see if there's something at my door when I wake up. 
So I just woke up after my post-night shift nap and let's see if my package is outside my door. Let's go check this baby out. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I think this thing is 50 pounds. Package number two. Oh my gosh, I think this is the weights. Yeah, I think this is like 70 pounds and this is like 30 pounds. Man, I forgot how heavy weights were. But now that these babies are inside my condo, let's go see what's inside the box. All right guys, so we got eight five kilogram weights, four 1.5 kilogram weights, two barbells and four barbell accessories. Which is actually not that bad for 170 bucks, including shipping and handling, and for arriving 30 hours after I ordered them. So I'm thinking that I'll go try these out, get rid of the evidence, then I'll go hide the weights before the fiance finds out when this episode gets released next Friday. So after that nice workout, going in for my third of my three night shifts, I'm gonna get shift done. And I got a little surprise for you guys tomorrow. So after my night shift, I'll see you guys then. So post night shift, I've been going from one place to another place to another place in order to find just the right flower bouquet. Mainly because today is actually 90 days until my wedding. So this segment based on TLC's popular show is called 90 Day Fiance. So I went to my local florist and got these flowers for the fiance. Also, tell me how it took me over two hours after my night shift just to find a bouquet of flowers. And similar to the show, later on today, I plan to bring her home to my hometown to meet the parents for lunch. So let's head home and surprise her. Actually, instead of having breakfast, the fiance and I are just gonna go straight to lunch to the parents' place. But first, a mini carpool with a couple of new special guests. Gotta find the car, man. It's right here. Oh, it's like it was all the way back there. No way. Okay. How does this look? You guys have enough space? Oh yeah. Sweet. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Why, we have more corn? Yeah! All right! Barbecue! Mommy ball! And so after role-playing 90 Day Fiancé, having lunch with the parents and the family back home, driving Andrew and my sister to a wedding in Bowenville, then driving through a thunderstorm to drop off the fiancé back all the way to downtown Toronto for her night shift, and then coming back home to do my 100 daily push-ups, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First of all, I have a happy birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, Patricia. Happy birthday, Patricia. I remember back in the day in elementary school riding the school bus with you as well as randomly reuniting with you when we were both living back in downtown Toronto years ago at Wysick. And since the last time we met, I see that you've been traveling all around the world 
But for now, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I'm hoping that you, Patricia, have a happy birthday. And for my second greeting today, I have a birthday greeting for Rico. Happy birthday, Rico. I remember first meeting you at university when you were doing a job fair at Ryerson for BVG. And you being an inspiration for me as a runner, being so outgoing, fun, energetic, and positive all the time. Anyways, Rico, hope you're keeping up your energetic self at this time. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. And I hope that you have a happy birthday as well. All right, so after six hours of sleep last night and only getting one hour of sleep post night shift yesterday, today we got yet another busy day. On a beautiful drive this morning compared to just only 12 hours ago in the thunderstorm, I'm back downtown to pick up the fiance. Cause right now it's Sunday morning, which can only mean one thing. I'll be taking the passenger seat cause this morning it's let your fiance drive Sundays. <laughs> So after a safe commute with the fiance, we're off to East Scarborough to visit the cousins and play a couple of games called the Flip Olympics. So let's go and I'll see you guys there. Let's go! So, after a jam-packed day full of events, spending time with family, and driving the fiancé to work this evening, we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. I'm remembering the times that we played beach volleyball together years ago, as well as the time that you took me to the Raptors game when they were playing the Warriors when DeMar was still playing for the Raps. Anyways, Jason, hope you're keeping well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. And next birthday greeting for today is for Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. I'm remembering a long time ago when you and Amanda came to my res when I hosted a party there, as well as playing b-ball with you and Jing back when Jonas was living downtown. Anyways, Yuli, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you too had a happy birthday. So after weeks of delay, I can finally say that I'm at the tennis court with Nesh. I don't know if it's just exhaustion or we're tired or rusty or maybe just lazy or all of it or all of the above but check out this highlight video <laughs> So after playing tennis with Nej, showering up, then editing all the highlights that we took from the videos from yesterday's activities, and wrapping them up all in this video, the Flip Olympics 2021 video, which by the way you can check out the YouTube card above or link in the description below, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a childhood friend, Daryl. Happy birthday Daryl. I remember when we were younger that you and your brother would come over to my place. And before you had your own game console, you'd always want to come over and play Sega Genesis. Anyways, Daryl, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. And now, my second birthday greeting goes out to Kelly. Happy birthday, Kelly. I'm remembering that when we were younger, we'd play house league soccer together, as well as us being teammates on the Celtic side, and me trying to emulate Shinsuke Nakamura. Anyways, Chris, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. 
Anyways, guys, it's finally come up to the end of the episode. So, if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.